Hello Virgo, welcome to our Timeless Tarot Nightcap. Well, another day has ended and uh, I was just looking at this crystal ball. The first vision I saw was that of a person sitting this way and is facing another person who is seated that way. Okay, so it's like um, he's having some talk with somebody. I don't know if your day was preoccupied with uh, or filled with dialogue with people. <laughs> you seem to be talking with them. Okay. Uh, I don't know why what you what the topic matter was, but it seems to be a little serious or a little formal. Uh, it's like in the office setting, and you seem to be talking with people at the same time. The next. The next image that I saw is of a person lying down with a blanket over this person as if resting. Uh, I don't know if right now that the thought that is coming to me is whatever you've talked about with other people, you might need to sleep it over. Whatever dialogue you've had today, uh, don't immediately work don't immediately uh, act on it maybe you need to sleep it over first maybe there is something that uh, the universe has to work on and also your subconscious mind has to work on before you start working on it uh, it sometimes it's uh, a work becomes more effective when both the conscious and subconscious mind are working working together. Uh, maybe if you sleep it over, you will allow your subconscious mind to contribute on the matter. And uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow things will be clearer. And maybe you will be able to make a better decision tomorrow. Um, at first I thought it was just trying to balance between work and rest but uh, the thought that came to me right now is whatever you talked with other people don't immediately commit yourself or make a decision sleep it over first and maybe tomorrow things will be clearer who knows also there might be some developments that we'll be working on so if there were cert there are certain things right now that you need to uh, make uh, to act upon or make a decision on uh, give it some time sleep it over maybe also give the universe some time to work on it many things can happen within 24 hours maybe that is what the universe needs right now to work on it at least while you sleep and rest no it reminds me of what the scripture says even when the farmer sleeps the seed that are planted in the the seeds that are planted in the field are slowly germinating and growing so yeah maybe you need to allow the universe to work on it so maybe sleep on it first okay so take it if it resonates with you especially if you feel it is something important it will affect your future think it over give it time okay give it time don't immediately draw a conclusion give it some time uh, allow the event to unfold also maybe but uh, at least sleep it over that's what i felt it's um, you just need to to sleep it over give it i think that is a sufficient time maybe tomorrow things will be clearer or things will already uh, unfold itself okay now for our main energy for today uh, we have here the high priestess okay you need to use your intuition <laughs> yeah so you need to really sleep it over when you sleep it over your intuition will act on it in fact you can even dream about it maybe the loose solution you don't know how the universe will express the solution it can be it can come in a dream or when you wake up things will be clearer yeah the key i see here a key it's as if the key to whatever it is that you are trying to solve right now is by using your intuition listening to the universe I see here a door a portal no maybe the door to the answer will open up 
if yeah you give it time uh, you see here it's night time here <laughs> it's like allow the moon to work on it, on it while you sleep <laughs> okay so the main energy is yes uh, rely on your intuition right now uh, uh, allow your intuition listen to your intuition listen to the universe whatever it is that you need to work on don't just rely on your logical mind on your ego but also listen to your intuition and to the guidance of the universe okay you need to create a certain balance in the decision making also uh, the yin and the yang okay let the masculine and feminine part of you work on the situation okay so as for the cards no uh you need to uh yeah you see you need to cooperate with your friends maybe this is related to the communication that you had uh the one that we saw in the crystal ball where you were talking to somebody well me i only saw one person but we didn't saw the other one but maybe it wasn't just one person there might be two of them it's just that maybe we saw only one in the crystal ball but what i fear here i feel here is uh this is sort of like an agreement between friends look at the way these two ladies are looking at you as if they know something that you know also it's as if it's as if that they agree with you on a certain secret because the way they look is very meaningful as if they know what you know and they agree with what you are thinking it's as if yes we know what it is you don't need to tell us about it so somehow uh you seem to be connected with these people also by gut feeling so take how it resonates with you you know of these people who understand your gut feeling so uh, trust these people who understand your gut feeling i think they know how to help you and uh, they will be the ones who will be able to support you in whatever decision you will be making okay so it could be that these are the people that you were consulting the one that we saw in the crystal ball so uh, rely on these friends at this time i think they will be very important now you are charting something new you see here this is the page of cups now the other one is the three of cups okay uh, all are related to emotions even the priestess is related to the intuition and the emotions you see here it's a little bit wavy right now behind you it this person is in a galleon in a sailing ship and uh, he's got a backpack and charting a map i don't know if the conversation is related to a journey or maybe a a travel plan i don't know if it is related to that uh, there seems to be some turbulence so maybe uh, it, it, whatever this this thing is it's giving you some anxieties right now okay uh, yeah there is some interior turmoil which can be symbolized by the wave which can be related to your emotions and this is the page of cups no S a page is somebody who is young creative not afraid to try things okay so yeah uh, i i think you need to also have to have that creativity also and that uh, courage uh the 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 young people have no fear of taking risks so maybe you will also need to take some risks but uh you need to give it some time like this one this person is planning things out he is uh, i think he's like studying a map oh yes he is studying a map i thought it was a knapsack but actually it's like a map so he's studying a map so you need to further study whatever it is that you are considering right now i think you need to further study it first don't immediately go on the journey uh, don't immediately commit yourself study it first uh, maybe get the feel of yeah the territory or the situation before you do it so I, yes i guess you need to sleep it over for now and uh i think you also need to to uh quiet and quiet and or to calm down okay to calm down the waves of your emotions right now okay yeah you see here it's this is like a person with his eyes closed it's like it's uh 
not close, half close, no. So yeah, it's as if he's mulling over whatever it is, no. It's, it's something to do with, with walking, something to do with, is it walking away? Uh, considering living a, a certain situation, uh, I'm not sure. Is it related to resigning? I don't know. Uh, but you not don't be in a hurry. You see here, uh, something to do also with the cups being organized, well well organized. It's like uh, m keeping all the affairs organized. Uh, you see, he this person who is walking away has uh, kept the cups organized, but somebody's being left behind. Okay, maybe it it involves certain things that needs to be arranged before somebody leaves behind and somebody will be left behind somebody before somebody leaves they need to fix the affairs first everything leave things organized before leave, walking away and one will be left behind one will be walking away uh, but this is still happening in the mind so maybe it's something that is still being planned or being considered by the person but this person is not in a hurry he's thinking it over so whatever decision no just take it if it resonates with you but i think what you need is to think it over first no at the same time here yeah there might be a lot of discussions and negotiations that will be involved you see here the five of wands no uh, some yes these two birds are working together uh may, makes me think that they are building a nest <laughs> building a family for some of you maybe you're building a family uh, or they're building something they have a certain project that they are working on and you need to work with people not just alone something like that okay now yeah okay i think you also at this time in your life uh, at this point no uh, you need the support of somebody maybe somebody close to you somebody who is who understands you yeah something like this no it's, it's very close to this three of cups no people who understands your deepest feelings no and people who care people who care you see their connection is deeper than just the physical interaction it's deeper they they somehow have a gut feeling of each other something like that I think they these people whoever they are it can be friends also or it can be a, a, a romantic partner somebody who loves you in a romantic way also can be but these people understand how you feel i think they have a significant contribution in whatever situation you are in okay i see here migrating birds so yes somebody might be leaving i don't know if it is you or somebody else but there seems to be an energy of migration moving to another place leaving behind some discord okay so there might be some turmoil and maybe what you were talking about is related to a certain turmoil and somebody some are flying to better uh yeah better temperatures it's like migrating to uh better places okay something like that uh, birds usually migrate when the weather is no longer supportive to life so uh yeah maybe some someone is considering looking for better pastures uh you need to rest yeah again here you see here you rest and you listen to the birds okay so yeah think it over first there is this consideration of moving to better better shores maybe but you need to sleep it over uh, maybe there's something that is afoot that you do not see you do not know uh, that you need to wait on yeah okay allow the star to guide you so that you will yeah you will be able to bring yourself out of this uh, labyrinth you see she just got out of the labyrinth and she, as if she's thanking the stars so allow the universe to guide you right now and yeah <laughs> keep your uh, it's a, as if do something else right now you see this person is planting taking care of plants now 
maybe yeah you need to do a, a certain activity not related to your work right now like taking care of plants to allow your subconscious mind to work on it and study the situation closely just as this person doesn't immediately pin the butterfly it's like you are undergoing transformation and whatever is happening right now i feel that the situation is evolving the butterfly can symbolize evolution or transformation so maybe the situation is still evolving so just observe closely don't make decisions yet this is what i can see right now virgo so take what resonates with you at the same time let us end this reading with some oracle cards okay and okay this um okay boon okay boon heaven is rushing in and showering you with blessings open your heart to receive okay so yeah heaven is working on it wait wait a little uh energy protection your belief your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance okay something is causing you anxiety right now uh, for some of you security of tenure something or security of your position security of your career something that is keeping you off balance right now something to do with migration i don't know so just take what resonates with you but this something is taking you off balance but don't worry the heaven is responding already the universe is already responding to solve the situation be patient wait a little endurance is a mighty charm and patience brings many good things okay so this is our reading for you virgo for tonight i hope it has given you some enlightenment in whatever situation you are in right now thank you for the likes and comments that you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing and uh, i hope to see you again in our next readings until that time may god continue to bless your ways